In the previous video, we have created some additional code in our chunk script. We will need to create a scriptable object that will store the data about our uh, voxels. So basically, the most important aspect of creating a natural looking landscape in our game are the textures. We are going to apply different textures to add the grass, dirt, stone and other types of terrain to make it look visually appealing. We will need to write a small script that will create for us the scriptable object. So let's right click, create a new C sharp script. Let's call it block data so. Again, you might want to call it voxel data so. For me, the blocks and voxels basically mean the same. Okay, let's open it up in Visual Studio. All we need to do is delete the update and start methods. Instead of from mono behavior, we are going to extend the scriptable object. Okay, and first thing that we will need to add is an attribute that will allow us to create this through the asset menu. So we will need to add in square brackets create asset menu and in normal brackets file name block data and menu name data slash block data. So if we click right click and select create, we will be able to create our block data as well through the inspector. We are going to have two fields. First one will be float texture size x and y. This will be a helper parameter. And we are going to have a list of texture data. So we do not have it. We are going to create an additional class here. And this will be a serializable class so that we can see it in the inspector. To use ser serializable attribute, we need to quick actions and say using system uh, library. And this public class texture data will contain the block type vector to int so this will be up down and side and those will be the uv coordinates for the specific texture for the up direction down direction and side since i consider the voxels in our world will have the same texture on each side of it the texture up and down might be different in case you want to have different sides you might want to split it into uh, four sides and apply different textures here and we are going to have two boolean flags is solid so for example water will have this as false and the ground as true and generates collider this will allow us to say which voxel is creating a collider and which not which will be very useful since we are using this enum to define the block type so if we define additional block type all we will need to do is add to our list a new texture data fill it in and there will be nothing else for us to change in the scripts okay if you have this code uh, written in your blog data so, let's save it and let's go back to Unity. We are back in Unity. What we can do now is right click, create, and we have this data, and we have this blog data, which can be created as an asset. And if we create it, we can see that we have this texture size X and Y, and we have the list of that is empty. If we add here an element and extend it, we can see that we can select the block. For example, R, and our R is not solid, it doesn't generate colliders, and doesn't have any textures. We can add another one, and let's say that this time we want to select block type that is dirt. Or maybe let's select the grass dirt because it will be more interesting. Now, we are going to use the textures from our main uh, material, and if we select this base map that we have provided here, that I have put here, this will point us to the Kenny assets, to the sprite sheets, and this is the last one. This is one that I have created because the original had only nice spaces by 10 spaces. And basically, how are we going to map the, those textures to our uh, voxels? So UVs are taken from value 0 to 1 on U and 0 to 1 on V axis. And here we have some kind of a texture. and in our case it represents 10 tiles so i have created this to be of equal size so we can have 10, si 10 tiles here uh, on the y-axis and 10 tiles on the x-axis so to access grass which is the side is here and the top is somewhere here we need to access it by going from this point so the bottom left point 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 on x and we will need to divide this by the size of one texture which is 0.1 so this is what we are going to set as the size x and y 
So we will have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we have upwards 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what we can do is select our scripts, our block data. And for the side, we are going to input 7 on axis, that we need to move 7 spaces on axis. And on Y, we need to uh, move 5 spaces. And the size of our texture is 1 tenth, since we have 10 tiles. So 1 tenth is 0 0.1. And this is the size that we are going to use to use the, the values here. Multiply those values by 0 0.1. And we are going to get the point at, on our texture. And the mesh object uh, in Unity will correctly calculate the position inside our texture based on the values 0, 1 that we pass to it. So this was the side of it. Now if we go back to our texture, to the sprite sheets and to the sprite sheet tiles 10 by 10 and we want to select one of those grass uh, textures and the bottom will be simple dirt texture, we need to go to, uh, do the same. Calculate 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and uh, on the x-axis and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on y values. Again, we go here to the scripts, block data, and input from the up, we had the, uh, I believe it was 6 and 8. Down, we have 7 and 4, because the texture was just below our uh, side texture, so this will be 7 and 4 on y-axis. And this will be how we are accessing those correct values of the UVs. Now, instead of inputting all those by hand, to the, our uh, block data because we could do this i will provide you with the uh, archived version of this uh, block data so in the description of this video you should be able to reach the github repository and here you should have this video underscore three block data so unity package simply select it and download it onto your machine okay and i will simply import our block data imported dot asset and if you select it you will see that all those elements are filled in with the data about the different textures and if you check those values you will see that those corresponds to the values uh, to the tiles in our sprite sheet underscore tiles underscore 10 by 10. Great! So now in the, this is all that we need to import the data but we need to also have a way to import it and to use it inside our code and in the next video we are going to create a block data manager that will create a dictionary out of those tiles so that we can easily access the block type and the dictionary will return us the correct data about the texture. Okay, that is what we are going to do in the next video. See you there.